Welcome to the Gaming News, I'm Kendall Lin, and here are some Switch updates. We all heard the announcement of the new Nintendo Switch OLED. It has a 7-inch screen, double the memory, enhanced audio, an adjustable stand, a LAN port, and just for $349.99, you can have all that and drifting Joy-Con controllers. No, you, you heard me correctly. Nintendo isn't making any changes to the controllers despite numerous lawsuits. This news comes directly from the Nintendo fact page stating that the Joy-Con controllers are the same controllers currently available. Drifting is becoming more and more of an issue and is a widespread malfunction. Nintendo isn't taking responsibility or any fault for that matter. This situation is particularly frustrating because of the high price of new controllers and out of warranty repairs can be anywhere from $40 to $80. It's not an understatement to say it's a bummer to play your favorite Switch game and having your character walk off a cliff without you even touching the controller. While the OLED features a fancy new display, it's also revealed to have the same CPU as a normal Switch and won't have any additional RAM which means certain games will still have frame drops when the action gets a little too hectic. The marketing manager of Nintendo did make a public statement saying if the screen isn't important to you, then just stick to the old Switch. But 7 inches, am I right? Is that extra 0.8 of an inch worth it to you? Let us know in the comments. I'm Kendall Lin, thanks for watching, and make sure to check out thegamer.com, the leading source of gaming news, reviews, and interviews. See ya! If you want more content, make sure to watch more, check out thegamer.com, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.